I find it funny that so many people will willingly put on plastic trash bag. I don't even mean like a, a proper poncho, which are just as bad, really. But quite literally, like a, pl a plastic trash bag because of a couple sprinkles, which I doubt they would do that at home. You know? So, oh, two drops fell from the sky at Disney. I gotta put on plastic. I don't understand. Oh, that's We're sweet. heading out to meet some friends. We're getting to do a redo of the Edison, which we were able to do our last trip down here. Uh, you can find uh, a link to that in the uh, description below. And we're hoping to get a, a, a redo for this because when we had gone that time, uh, their signature dish, which is their, their prime rib, they ran out of. So while we still had a good meal, it wasn't quite what we were looking for. And so they asked us to come back, um, try them again. So we are. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, you guys look dead tired. Oh. <laughs> well, that was interesting. I'm not even sure why that happened. Bye. Des missed it. Okay. It's pretty dark. You guys probably can't see me right now, but you can hear me. And you just saw that. So we're sitting outside of Amaretz because we had a little drink, which you also can't see. Uh, just before we're going out for dinner, we just felt like having a drink, and that just happened. There's a door behind me. Yeah, you just missed it. And they just like interacted with us and uh, I said, oh, you guys look dead tired. And they all go, oh. Ah, ah. But I got it. Awesome. And, and, and Dez, Dez just caught the tail end of that. I did. She, had, she walked away for a minute. I had to go that wash way. Wash my hands. Yeah. <laughs>
Okay, guys. So, the Edison. Very good. I liked it. Uh, it's kind of loud. There's live entertainment, and this is it's it's a plus and a minus. It depends on how you look at it. Uh, on the weekends, they have the live entertainment, which is is really nice touch. You know, they have. Uh, uh, flapper girls, they've got the tap dancers, they've got a uh, band who performs modern songs in like a uh, swing and, and you know, old style. It's, it's really interesting. Um, swing and jazz. Right. Some sort of a, a blend. The downside is that it's very hard to hold a conversation. We certainly couldn't record anything that you'd be able to hear. Uh, so we're going to show you everything that we had uh, while we're talking about it. So, uh, for starters, we did get some appetizers. Um, Dad ordered uh, the shrimp, which is very nice. It's a kind of spicy. It came with two different sauces, uh, cream-based sauce and a cocktail sauce, which was uh, a little spicy, the cocktail sauce, the cream sauce kind of pulled it down. Now, all, all these appetizers actually had some spice to them, which is interesting. Yeah. Um, every single one of them. So... Uh, the shrimp, basically like cocktail shrimp, but on skewers and, I don't know, a little spicy. Um, I ordered the eggs. Deviled eggs. eggs. Thank you. I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> Deviled eggs. And I have to say, you know, uh, they're actually a little disappointing to me. Um, they're quite salty, to my taste. Uh, we have had the deviled eggs over at Homecoming. And those are heads and tails much better. Completely different animal there. It's just if if you're into that, save it for homecoming. Um, you know, they're not bad, but you could do way better. Yes. I had the candied bacon, which is very, very good. It was more peppery this time than I remember. But it was still it was still very good. Um, definitely helped clean me out a little bit because I'm still kind of nasally <laughs> and it came with the um, or some kind of jam I can't remember what it was called but I'll put it in here it was very good it was kind of sweet so it set off the or, off balance, or balanced out I can't talk this <laughs> it offset the pepper yeah it offset the pepper. that's what I was trying to say but to, to kick it back up again, it came with the spicy Those pickles, pickles yeah. which were, I think, the hottest thing on the table. No, actually, the pickles weren't bad. They, no? I mean, they were hot, but tolerable. I guess after eating all the pepper on the bacon, it didn't make the pickles as hot, if that makes any sense. Okay, so it kind of like desensitized you to it. Yeah, pretty much. All right. So, but uh, all in all, they're good. Uh, the winner there, I think... Is still the bacon because candy bacon. Yes. It's hard to beat. True. Mo moving on to just, entrees. Yeah. I would say just not as much pepper next time. Now, most of us at the table ended up getting uh, the prime rib, the queen cut prime rib. And that too was, was very, very good. It was extremely tender, uh, wonderfully juicy. Comes with a popover, which I think was a little much. It's very crusty on the outside. It was it was soft on the inside. It soaks up some of the, the gravy, the jus, if you will, uh, for it. But I know it was a little difficult to eat. The outside was very dry. Actually, it kind of got stuck in my throat. I coughed. Uh, it tasted good. I just would have preferred maybe just to have my mashed potatoes on the plate, but it came on the side. Which was weird. Yeah, uh, the mashed potatoes were plain mashed potatoes. There was really nothing special about it at all. There's no good seasoning. It wasn't bad, but they were bland. It was just mashed potatoes. Yeah. Uh, so being with the gravy would have been better. Okay. So... Um, now I had my beef prepared medium rare. Uh, so it was really tender, really juicy, uh, had great flavor. Um, it is a fatty cut of meat as it should be and is expected to be, uh, but maybe a little bit more than you might otherwise expect. But you're getting a lot, so it kind of makes up. That's, that's, that's my thought. Now, Dad ha had the same thing cooked medium, except he had the loaded baked potato, which he seemed to enjoy quite a bit. That looked good. 
and uh, and our friend Mero and I also had the loaded baked potato. She enjoyed that quite well. Uh, Des, you ordered the braised short ribs. Yes. What did you think? It was good. Um, I didn't know that it came with mushrooms on it. I'm not a mushroom fan, so I kind of pushed those to the side. And it comes with asparagus and mashed potatoes. I didn't want asparagus, so I asked them what they could sub it with, and they said they could do carrots. And they were rainbow carrots. They're pretty good, you know, you're running the mill rainbow carrots, not bad. Like Matt said, the potatoes were very bland. Um, so they would have need probably just a little salt and pepper, which they do provide on the table, so you can use that. Um, as far as, as how the, the short ribs were, all right. Some of them were kind of like too mushy for me. I guess. Well, it is braised, so I mean, it's it's expected yeah. to be tender and, and it'll fall apart. But yeah, but there's a difference between falling apart and being tender and being like mush. Being like stew, right. stew mush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I mean, it wasn't bad. What about the flavor? Was it bland? Was it there? It's kind of bland. Really? Yes. But I mean, I'm a horrible person to ask right now because I'm all congested. <laughs> but it tasted kind of bland to me. All right. So, on a, on a scale of one to five, what do we think? Because this is the second goal well, for, for, for the Edison for us. One being the worst, five being the best? Yes. For everything or just that part of the meal? The whole the, the whole meal, the experience. The because it, Now, this is not a cheap thing. We're on dining plan and it is yeah. one dining credit. We were able to use uh, our one dining credit to cover the appetizers and the entree. Uh, appetizers instead of getting dessert. Yeah, so you can do that. Yep. Yeah. Well, actually, speaking of desserts, now, so we were dining with friends. Oh, yes. And uh, they ordered the uh, cherry trifle, cheese, cherry cheesecake trifle. I don't know. Which I, I didn't taste. Um, but it looked and the, good. And the, but the lollipop then, tree thing. Right. And those were basically uh, coated cheesecakes that came with a bubblegum flavored whipped cream. Now, interesting flavor. It was an interesting flavor. I did not like it on the chocolate. Uh, it probably went better on the other ones, but I decided to eat the pistachio one by itself, which was good. Yeah, there, so was, there was three flavors. There was chocolate, chocolate pistachio, right. and graham cracker. And graham cracker, that's it. Uh, so probably graham cracker fit best with. Uh, but it was good, and there's like ten sticks on there, which means it's it's really easy to, to, to share. Yeah. Um, so it was a good dessert. But yeah. Okay. So overall. So overall, the Edison. I think it's um two and a half or three. I was gonna say probably like a three. Because I mean, the, the it's a good meal, but I feel like I've had better. Oh, totally had better in Disney. And. Now, again, we were on dining plan. Had we not been on dining plan, uh, I think it would be too expensive. For three people, it was like 200 and something dollars. Oh, yeah, I um, I it was, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that because the, the prime rib itself was like $36. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't pay that for what I got. Um, out of pocket. I think that's that's too much. It wasn't wasn't up to snuff. On dining plan, I think it was fairly did fairly well. I would um, say, I would especially say, since it's one credit. I would say don't let the food turn you off to going to the Edison. It's a wonderful experience. There's a lot to see there. the The drinks are, are something to the talk about. Are very good. Now, Des and I both got the Edison. Their namesake, and so basically, it's like a gold rush with. Uh, peach brandy. Peach brandy, yeah. Peach brandy, bourbon, something else. Yeah, it was honey. Juice. Something. Yeah, it was. I, I don't know, but it was good. It, it's good, but yeah. Good. Um, I did get the menu in there, so we'll put that in there here. So. Uh, so anyway, like I said, don't let, <laughs> don't let the, the our terrible food review. It's not terrible, but I, I think it's important to be honest. I've yeah. had better. Uh, Disney should have things to high standards, as most things, and um, you know I think it's really good for some. Uh, could be better for others, and perhaps it depends on the night that you come. Yeah, um, if you're looking for the entertainment, they only do it on I think Saturday nights. Yeah, which is when we're here. Right. So it's uh, 
It is what it is. Yeah. But have you been to the Edison? Did you have a different experience? Did you have the same experience? We want to know. Leave us comments in the, uh, in the comment section down below. Thing below. And uh, <laughs> let us know what your experience was. We're tired. I'm done. I'm totally I'm done for to tonight. Bed. We're going to head back to the resort and uh, we'll see you uh, tomorrow. Join us on our next adventure. We're going to bed. Night, everybody. Night.